Hey there, YouTube. PD Two Finger here with a. Uh, well, I got this in the in the mail uh, the other day, and I'm just tested it out. It's a miniature USB soldering iron, uh, professional USB soldering iron, high 100% quality, long life USB power, fully functioning USB powered soldering iron, small and compact for portability, rapid heat up and instant recovery. Tip can be replaced. Combination of heating element and soldering tip. Hmm. I'm not sure about the replacement tip. USB 5 volts, power 8 watts, long life tip. So, uh, and it comes with a protective cap. Comes with this, uh, like a pen cap type of idea, like a plastic pen cap. Uh, heating up in less than 15 seconds, cooling down in less than 30 seconds. So you can soldering on the go. I'm in a real fast, big hurry to make this Zvex super hard on to start my pedal empire. Uh, <laughs> long life tip with a protective cap. Slightly press the metal point on the body of the soldering pen and the LED will be lighted up and job can be started. If stop working, please press the metal point on the body of the soldering pen. Then the LED will light will be turned off. What are you doing? It's your phone getting like the messages because it's been off because I know there's a stopwatch on. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm oh. Yep, my wife was going to, I asked her to get a stopwatch so we could time it uh, for these claims. Uh, here's the unit. Uh, it does have a on off button here. This is how we unscrew. I am not going to pull my tip off. I unscrewed it and I don't see how it comes off. Maybe they're talking about this part being the very tip top, but I'm not going to, I'm going to be really careful with this. I bought this because it, I found it for $1.79 and I ordered it three times and they never came. So I got a refund every time and then finally I ponied up and paid the five dollars for it. Um, my idea on this was that it would be worth about a dollar seventy nine if that. Just for me if I'm gonna do if I'm gonna solder one small thing and I don't really want to get up. I mean I'm kind of immobilized with my handicap and oftentimes I just need to do a little uh, touch up thing. So to have something like this rather than uh, the other idea is grabbing a soldering station that I've gra graduated to using that, those. Uh, this would be nice to have around and for remote use. If we're out, uh, my wife and I make music at the woods or remote locations and I thought I could get a um, I could wire up to some 18650 cells or use one of those little power banks to charge your phone, get one of those and run, run this thing remote and actually be able to, okay. or in the car, you know, we have a charger in the car. So I could take whatever cable had failed and, you know, there's a possibility this may live in what we call our personal bag, which is a small like, camera bag that has stuff like band-aids, electrical tape, uh, lens cleaners, uh, little scissors, uh, pain relief pills. It's all stuff that you know you you might need a spare lighter, a bottle opener. It's like the Boy Scouts be prepared our bag that we bring with us when we make music in remote locations because that's what we love to do. We go to the woods uh, or different areas in the remote and use these battery amps that I built to play our original music. So basically the idea with this is uh, I might be able to rather than twisting wires together when something fails uh, I could actually solder um, I, I, that's the idea behind why I purchased this would I recommend it well it's a tough it's a real borderline type thing because I'm sure if I use this often enough it would break to replace the cable um, basically it's a five dollar unit I mean and you get what you pay for I I see these for uh, upwards seven and nine dollars no way is it worth that 
this is worth it's worth two ninety nine. I mean, they give you a tiny spool of solder with it, which in the picture, the sp like if you wrap um, solder around a a pencil. Uh, in the picture, they're showing they're showing maybe uh, two inches of solder, and I haven't used this yet. This is what. It was actually inside the unit. It fell out when I took the cap off. That's how much solder they give you. That, uh, so it's enough for a couple of joints. Um, here's the little stand that it comes with. It does have a little handy dandy little metal stand. I really like that. Uh, with this, the cable pulling the cable. I mean, it's, it weighs next to nothing. The cable weighs about as much as the iron. And I don't really see. It looks like it's a PCB. It's the, uh, from the jack to the button. is uh, It's not wires. It's a PCB. And like I said, you can disassemble it. With there's three Phillips screws for the body, and then there's this to supposedly replace the tip. But I uh, I can show you how it works. Um, it does actually heat up pretty quick. Should we try to, to time it? Yes. Okay, count me in. Just tell me when you hit it. Three, I'll say three, two, one, go. Three, two, joke ya. Did you start? No. Okay, I thought I got her. Three, two, one, go. You can see the LED is on. That's a blue LED. Okay, it looks like it's hot now. Twenty one ninety eight. That's what I got. I stopped it. <laughs> yeah, so they they may have exaggerated the claims a little bit. I mean, now it's really smoking. I put I did put some plumber's flux on it, and we'll coat the we'll coat it with some. Uh, so cool down is thirty seconds, which I I'm not debating the cool down. And I suppose it would also depend on your how, how, uh, power supply, uh, what type of USB. Some may be a little bit have more wattage than others. If you're using a USB wall charger, and that depends on how this this is uh, built too. But certainly, um, from like my recommendation or my honest review of this. If you own a lot of soldering irons and if five dollars isn't a big deal to you, uh, you, to have one just for the curiosity's sake, I would recommend it. See, I just I just unplugged this while it was plugged in. I wouldn't recommend doing that. I would say unplug that just in case there's a hard short. You don't want to, and that's the other thing. Are you really going to want to be plugging into your computer to run this, or would you be better off with some sort of a US like a wall wart, a charger? Or something. I would just assume blow a charger, then have a problem with my motherboard or blow out my USB. Uh, that happened to us once with a camera, and it was a real frustrating thing to have a camera blow out. Uh, it sent voltage through and fried all the USB on the motherboard. So a, a lot of buyer bewares on this. Uh, again, I can't recommend it. Unless you're going to pay three dollars for it, if you're going to pay three bucks for it, and you have a lot of this type of stuff, uh, certainly for a beginner, I know you can find really affordable irons. Like on uh, eBay, you can get these thirty watt irons. They have real short cables, but they're they're much cheaper. Honestly, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna go on a, a whole rant and recommend what you would get. Um, they have these like 17 to 20 dollar stations you can get those and then they have this uh they're like around seven or nine dollars they're um uh, a blue 60 watt and it has an adjuster on it those are the ones that i really like you can find there it's like a heiko 
uh, 900 ripoff and you can find tips for that you can get like 10 tips for two dollars um, so then that way you're able to constantly replace the tip and you have an uh, adjustable station with a nice heavy holder that has the sponge with the that's nice and wet in there so if you're gonna if you're gonna look for something uh, and you're gonna be doing some serious soldering that's really what you want to get uh, and you can also just get get the weller if you can afford it buy the, the weller small station that's what I did and I didn't like the 60 watt weller iron that came with it I found that it was a good iron but the replacement tips were very expensive so I bought that one of those imitation Heiko's uh, 900 and that's what I that's my everyday iron me I've got a bunch of soldering iron stuff here this I bought for curiosity I just had to get it like I said I tried to get a few of them for three dollars and that never went through now that I've got mine I am doing this review prematurely I, I haven't used it yet um, we soldered together these two pieces of wire here which it worked flawlessly for that it does get hot enough to solder uh, like 20 22 gauge wire without an issue other than that you know I'm being really hard on it just because it looks like it's gonna break and usually if something looks like that I'm right about it you know usually I'm not I'm not real like super picky about stuff unless it kind of looks really junky and this kind of looks really junky so I can't really recommend it but now that I have it it's a cute little thing and it does have a where did that plastic case go it comes in a is it on the other side of your guitar here it is yeah it comes uh, with a tray that I'm going to keep everything in here this tray pop the iron in here with the lid on it and then the base folds down in there oh I forgot to 